All right, this week in social studies, we are visiting our last country in Europe. So we've been in Europe for a little while now, visiting a bunch of different places. We've been to London here in England. We went to Paris in France. We've been to Germany. We went to the Netherlands. We went to Switzerland where we had the chocolate and uh, cheese. And in France, remember, we saw the Eiffel Tower. They speak French. We have the Netherlands. That's where we had, and Holland is also the name, the Tulips. London, that's Buckingham Palace, the Queen, the double-decker buses. Germany, we talked about how we could see castles along the Rhine River. Okay, so we are now moving, oh, in Norway, I'm sorry, we went to Norway where it's close to the North Pole, so there's a lot of snow, a lot of ice on the ground. People ski, that's how they get around in Norway. And now we are moving on to our last country here, which is called Italy, right? Italy. And so Italy is kind of shaped like a boot a little bit. It looks like a, a boot kicking something, right? If you look at it closely, it looks like a boot kicking something. So that's how you can identify Italy. Now, Italy looks like it would be an island because there's water. But remember, an island has to have water aware all around it, right? And Italy just only has water on like certain sides of it, okay? So this is Italy, okay? Some people are not listening. So Italy is found in Europe as well. The people from Italy are called the Italian people. And in Italy, they speak Italian. So not only are the people called the Italians, but they also speak the language of Italian. They speak the Italian language, okay? So Italy is a beautiful country. A lot of famous cities you could find, a lot of famous sightseeing things you could see as well in Italy. So let's talk about their capital city, which is Rome. Now, Rome is really special because Rome is one of the oldest cities in the world. Rome is talked about in the Bible. When we have the book of Romans, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans comes after that. That book was written to the people in the city, uh, I mean, the country of Rome. So Rome is one of the oldest cities in the world. So a lot of the monuments you see there, the buildings, these are old buildings that existed even in the Bible times. So they are very, very, very old. So in Rome, you will see beautiful fountains and remains of old buildings. If you look at that picture on 86, look at that half of the building is gone. It's still up. You know, it's a very old building. But you can see a portion of it has kind of, you know, broke off. It kind of, you know, it's gone, gone. And so a lot of these buildings in Rome were built by the Romans. And they built this during the time when Jesus walked the earth. Some of these things were built during the same time. So Rome is one of the oldest cities in the world, along with Israel being an old city. But Rome is also one of the oldest cities in the world. So Rome is found in Italy. That's a city we can visit. Okay. And that... Um, let's look at 87. Let's talk about Venice, Italy, Venice, Italy. What's cool about Venice is that instead of streets, they have little rivers there. There, uh, instead of streets, they have these little rivers, these little canals that you travel on. So if you needed to like go somewhere or something, you would have to travel on this boat called a gondola. It's a long, narrow boat. They don't have streets that you walk on in Venice. You would travel along the river. They have many canals. And so it was built on 118 islands. That's why it's so filled with water. Okay. So, well, they might, but I'm saying like it's it's a city of rivers. So that's why it is the way it is. Okay. So um, Venice is a street of a city made of little rivers. So you can ride that boat like he has on 87. It's called a gondola. That's the boat they travel on. Next, we have Pisa. It's another city that you can visit in Italy. Pisa has a famous tower. It's called the Leaning Tower of Pisa. As you can see, if you look at the tower, does it look straight up? No, you can tell that it is leaning. That's Kenya. That's the wrong page. It's not the page. On 87, it has the Tower of Pisa. You can see that it's leaning. It's not so up straight. That's because the ground... Underneath the Leaning Tower of Pisa is really soft. So every year the tower is sinking in the ground and as it's starting to sink, it's starting to lean over. And so it sinks a little bit every single year. So every year that tower is sinking more and more. And I don't know, maybe in like hundreds of years from now, it might completely sink in the ground. I don't know. But 
The Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's called the Leaning Tower because it literally is leaning. And you could actually go inside of it and stuff. But yes, the tower is actually leaning. And that's because the ground underneath it is very soft. And because the ground is soft, it is starting to lean. It sinks every year and it starts to lean. So some of the things that the people in Italy enjoy doing are play, is playing soccer. Remember I told you that in a lot of countries they enjoy soccer. They call it football. We call it soccer in America. But they love playing soccer. Basketball, they love to ski as well. They love taking going on walks before dinner. So a pet that a lot of the children like to have in Italy are crickets. They like to catch crickets and have them in these little cages that they'll actually put them in. And that's a pet that they will have. Okay, and so Italy is known for a lot of foods. A lot of foods that we like are Italian foods, like pizza. Pizza is an Italian dish. Pasta, that's an Italian dish. Bread, an Italian dish. All the cheeses, if you like a bunch of cheeses. That's some things that are really popular in Italy. You have the cheeses, pizza, bread, um, pastas. All of these things are what we would call Italian dishes so if you like any of those things that means you like italian food so yes these are things that like let's look at the leaving tower pizza 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 same thing yes 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 so um yep so that's italy these are some of the cool places we can visit in italy so italy's here that's rome the capital city then we have, um, and the Vatican is also there too. Genoa, that's another city that you could visit there, right? Uh, the city of Christopher Columbus, that's where they say he's from. That's also a city you can visit. Naples is in Italy as well, another popular city. A lot of cool places you can visit in Italy, okay? All right, so that is it for our social studies.